She cheated on me twice and I miss my cheating ex and her family, but I know I shouldn't. Me, 28M, and my GF, 26. So we started the relationship in May 2017. I had gut feelings two months into the relationship that she didn't seem like she was entirely into the relationship. I had suspicions from how private she told me she was about introducing people to her family and how secretive she was with her phone. She never shared any pics of us on her IG account and took so long for her to finally share pics of us on her FB slash say we were official. I damn near had to beg for her to show us off. But after a Thanksgiving event with her family while she was cooking I saw her phone keep going off. She always kept it on silent. I check it because in the beginning of the relationship we agreed to sharing passcodes. Remember that part, I see someone texting her via snap. I check and it's some guy asking how her day is going and he misses her. I asked her who it was and she said just a friend. I took the convo away for later. A couple days after that event, she's sleeping over at my place and early in the am her phone goes off, light on the phone. I look at it and it's the same guy. I open the phone to see it's the friend. I open her phone via her passcode. I see they've been talking for many months. They sparingly talk throughout every day. He slips in some sexual talk about how he misses her body, asks about her and I, and also says how he wants to see her again after seeing her recently apparently. I took screenshots of their conversation and then I woke her up and confronted her. She immediately gets defensive and is mad about how I went into her phone and invaded her privacy. I tell her I can't invade someone's privacy when she gave me her passcode. I ask her who he is and how I've had suspicions from how she's been acting. She kept denying about who he was calling him just a friend until I told her to stop fucking lying. She tells me that they used to date and had sex, but it didn't work out. She tells me she only talked with him of all people cause I work nights and she had nobody to talk to and he isn't always sexual, so you choose him? So I never tell her about the screenshots cause I wanted to show her family but didn't but flip shit on her about lying to me and talking to an old friend that she used to lay with. I reminded her how in the beginning of the relationship we agreed to not talk to anybody we used to like slash be with, currently talking to or wanted to talk slash be with. I told her how she's messed up big and it won't be easy to fix things. After that trust was destroyed obviously and I told her what she had to do to rebuild my trust in her, aka show me her phone from time to time, make me feel like I'm wanted and appreciated. Which she complained about showing her phone. Fast forward the years of more ups than downs. I think things are getting better. But only because we swept things under the rug. I struggle with the fact that she still hasn't done what I asked to help me build trust in her. She constantly changed her passcode and even said at one point what's the point of looking in my phone because I can just change the name in my phone and nobody would know. She would also say things like that she's never dated anyone under 5 feet 11 inches, I'm all of 5 feet 6 inches, and she's 5 feet 3 inches, and just making me feel insecure. I had many signs to just leave from her emotionally cheating, lying, being deceitful, etc. Things started spiraling and she went, went out to a bar on a weekend after I brought up the same issue of wanting her to help me build trust in her since she thinks just telling me that her guy friends are just friends and I should trust her not realizing that her words are not enough anymore. Fast forward a couple days and she texts me that she has something to tell me. She texts me that she kissed someone else recently. She apparently went to a bar and danced slash kissed some guy. She shoved him away when she realized it wasn't me. Again, another lie most likely. I blow her phone up trying to get her to answer and she has the nerve to text me that she's on a call. Who the hell else is more important to talk with than me? I text her mom that she's cheating on me since she lived with her parents still. I sent her the screenshot I took of her daughter telling me she cheated at the bar. My ex gets mad that I'm telling her family what she's done wrong, but she felt okay to tell her mom and sis about when we had arguments sharing our business. She finally picks up a video call and I tell her to start talking. She says how she felt lonely even though I saw her mostly every weekend, send flowers to her job randomly, buy her lunch and drive an HR to eat with her etc. So she's not lonely. 
She has the pitiful look on her face while I chew her out. I asked why would she do all of this knowing I have trust issues and we have a long distance relationship. Why do such a thing? My thoughts were that she didn't care and wanted to get rid of me. She only texted me for my birthday but took me out to dinner. She said she thought it would help things. I opted for couples therapy. I read tons of articles and books on relationships. I even offered to bring them and read together and do the work they talked about together. She still declined. She said she read articles but never showed them to me when I asked. So most likely another lie. I started researching therapists and landed on one down by her area. I paid for us to go and she only showed to three sessions and was from the therapist's word she was cold and argumentative. Didn't want to talk about herself but was willing to point out your shortcomings. She never came back saying she was angry at the sessions. She left 2020 after we shared Christmas with our families cause I was still holding out for love. I also found out she went back talking to the same guy she I caught her texting YRS earlier. Guess I was weak cause she left January 3rd by text. Fast forward a couple months of sparingly texting cause we both were hard to let go of the relationship. I stopped talking to her for a couple weeks and I finally break and ask how she's been. She says she's getting her own spot and moving the next day. My ass still loving her said I could help her move. I show up the next day and her family is super happy to see me. I should have put her on the spot then and tell her family about her cheating even though her mom knows already and doesn't bring it up too much cause it bothers my daughter and I don't want her mad at me. But you won't hold her accountable for her actions. I help her move and even go shopping with her for stuff in her new apartment. I try to talk a bit hoping we can have a clear heart to heart sit down. Nothing. But we talk as if nothing's changed between us. All her running around for days getting her apt in order with little sleep. I go even further out my way and make a list of groceries and buy her food and wine to fill her fridge. I want to sit with her and talk about all we've been through. But I let her sleep. The next month she tells me in a long text about how we should move on and how it's better for us. Oh, she never apologized for anything. The one time she did was in her last text saying, I know I made some mistakes. That was it. The only time in 2.8 years she's ever apologized. Says she had longed to think about all we've been through. When in actuality I already knew about her new guy she was talking to long before she put it on FB. And back when I was helping her move I knew she was talking to someone. I'm sorry for the super long rant. It still hurts knowing I did all of this and loved her deeply. Our families were great together and loved each of us. We were a power couple on their eyes. Best friends. The first young woman I really wanted to marry. We talked about baby names, wedding ideas, future vacations, etc. Crazy how you can blame me for calling you out on your BS and trying to hold you accountable, but you go and tell people I'm insecure or controlling. I was a cop so she would say that me questioning her was like an interrogation lol well yeah I'm gonna question you if you've lied, cheated, been very secretive and deceitful. I just wanted the one who said she loved me to actually mean it and work at being sincere and fixing her mistakes. I know my shortcomings and I apologized for the role I played to her and the therapists but I know I tried to fix things. Her mother and brother-in-law are the only ones that saw the screenshots and know the truth. Like I said, I'm sorry for the rant. She moved on rather quick and just makes me feel like she never loved me and it was all an act. Because her family loved me, I just miss her and her family. Everything felt so right. Not the downsides, obviously. Again, sorry. I did what I thought was right for a man to do and I thought holding her accountable was right. It's like all that I did, all of it meant nothing. And it broke me a bit, she threw it away, and I was left picking up the pieces. Am I wrong to feel this way? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you would like to see more, feel free to subscribe.